So tonight I'm going to show you how I get Faith's food ready um, for her nighttime feedings. She has um, an NG tube that runs down through her nose and into her stomach so that she can have continuous feedings um, all night long. So she gets about um, 900 milliliters per night, um, every night. Sometimes we do give her a break, but this allows her to have about 975 extra calories at night, and then she does, um, she is able to eat during the day as well. So this is just an ex extra supplemental um, nutrition for her that um, she gets at night. It'll run for about nine hours. A um, little bit less than nine hours. So we start it when she's ready for bed, and then um, she actually disconnects herself in the morning and takes care of that, um, and sometimes goes back to sleep depending on when um, the feed ends in the morning. So I'm going to run you through how we prepare that um, every night. She has a what they call a kangaroo Joey pump, and. This is the tubing that goes with that. So I'm gonna open that. Her machine is already stationed on her bed. She has a loft bed. So we try to just leave it there and then um, connect the tubing and the bag for it at night. So this is how I do it just to help um, you know, get it from the kitchen to her bedroom. I'll just hang the bag on the cupboard and then fill it up. So this um, bagging system is um, what goes with her Kangaroo Joey pump. She is on um, Kate Farms. It's the standard formula meal replacement shake. You can drink this um, orally too, but it's um, really great for using in the, the pump. So she gets three of these cartons per night and that equals to her 975 calories and um, 975 milliliters. Okay, now that all of those are in the bag, I'm just going to seal it up here and then we'll transition to um, her kangaroo joey pump and hook it up. Alright, so here you can see um, Faith's loft bed and their somewhat messy slash clean room. Um, so this is why we um, we kind of have her Joey pump stationed on her bed um, to make it a little easier since it is a loft bed. So we're gonna work our way up and hook it up. Okay, so I use a step ladder to get up here and get this all set up. Um, we have her. Um, it's a kind of like. A, you know, the medical pole that you have in the hospital. Um, we have one of those at home, and then this is her kangaroo Joey pump. So I've hung up the um, the bag of formula up top here, and then I will feed this around. I'm actually gonna come at it the other side here. And if you can see, this piece just kind of goes in here, and it wraps around the um, the wheel and then this part here is a magnetic part um, that the machine then knows that it's loaded and ready to go so then we just close the lid then we power on the machine we always choose to keep the settings the same but you can adjust the feed um, to change that in case we want it um, to run slower or faster at night. Um, so we always need to prime the pump. And what that does is it gets the liquid through to the bottom or through to the end of the tube and ready to, to go. One thing you do want to learn is to remove the cap. Um, but we do have some fun sometimes where um, the cap will pop off if you don't remove it. So be warned for that. And you can see that the liquid is moving through the tube. Now it doesn't always move um, to the end of the tube so then we have to manually do the rest.
And we try to um, not have air in the tube um, because that air then pumps directly into her stomach. So, all right, so that's ready to go. We're just gonna push done. Now what I usually do is I do wanna clear how many um, milliliters um, are through it. So I'm gonna just press run and then hold and then clear volume. So now we're ready to um, hook Faith up for the night. Okay, so um, Faith is ready to get hooked up. And the first thing we need to do is flush her um, tube and, or as we call it, the noodle. So you always wanna make a flush sandwich is how we were taught. So we wanna flush it before the liquid goes in and then you flush it after we're done for the night. So she's gonna flush a little liquid. And the other thing we've learned is that you want to kink the tube before putting, um, when opening and closing the valve. Okay, and then she just connects her noodle to the main line. And it's very easy to connect. Want to make sure it's secure so that it doesn't slip out at night, but we've never had any um, issues with it slipping out. Once she's got it connected, she just hits run, and that's it. Now in the morning when um, the formula is all finished running, the machine will beep to alert her that it's done, and that usually wakes her up. Sometimes she does sleep through it, but that usually wakes her up, and then um, she can... Um, power off the machine and give herself a flush and then she'll be able to go back to sleep if she wants to or get up and, and ready for the day. So that's how we get Faye's food set up for the night um, and she's ready for bed. So, good night all.